Aviva's Power Suit Maker. Click on the button to choose your mode of play. Who do you want to build a creature power suit for? Pick a character. Chris. Okay, let's get started. I'll tell you what we need, and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto the character. We need back legs that help move lots of earth while digging. Sorry, not that one. Try again. We need back legs that help move lots of earth while digging. That's right! The aardvark uses his hind legs to push loose soil backwards while he digs. We need arms with super strong sharp claws for digging. Nice work! The aardvark can dig a burrow big enough to fit into in just 5 to 20 minutes. We need big ears to hear small prey and a long tongue to slurp them up. Sorry, not that one! Try again! We need big ears to hear small prey and a long tongue to slurp them up. That's right! The aardvark's 12-inch long tongue goes right into the termite tunnels. It's sticky, too! We need a good tail to lean on while digging. Nice work! The aardvark leans on its tail to get more leverage while he digs through the concrete-like termite mounds. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! Oh, this may be the best creature power suit ever! Do you remember what makes each body part special? Tap on them and you'll find out! The aardvark uses his hind legs to push loose soil backwards while he digs. The aardvark can dig a burrow big enough to fit into in just 5 to 20 minutes. The aardvark's 12-inch long tongue goes right into the termite tunnels. It's sticky, too! The aardvark leans on its tail to get more leverage while he digs through the concrete-like termite mounds. Great job! Let's make a new power suit! We need basic, short, furry legs because it never has to run very fast. Not that one! Try again! We need basic, short, furry legs because it never has to run very fast. That's right! The skunk doesn't need to run fast because it has a great defense. We need a stinky defense and a coat pattern that warns predators to stay away. Nice work! The spotted skunk does a handstand when it uses its stinky spray defense. We need a head that has a good nose for sniffing out worms, insects, and berries. That's right! A skunk is an omnivore. That means she's sniffing out both plants and animals to eat. We need a tail with a gland underneath that can shoot a stinky defense. Nice work! The skunk can shoot its spray up to 10 feet. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! These creature powers are awesome! The skunk can shoot its spray up to 10 feet. The spotted skunk does a handstand when it uses its stinky spray defense. A skunk is an omnivore. That means she's sniffing out both plants and animals to eat. The skunk can shoot its spray up to 10 feet. Great job! Let's make a new power suit! We need three-toed legs that can hold up a heavy body. Nice work! The rhino's legs need to hold up a body that weighs as much as 3,000 pounds. We need a creature with huge lungs for breathing.
again. We need a creature with huge lungs for breathing. Oops, sorry. That's five strikes. Try again. Okay, let's get started. I'll tell you what we need, and you choose the correct body part and drag it onto the character. We need basic, short, furry legs because it never has to run very fast. That's right! The skunk doesn't need to run fast because it has a great defense. We need a stinky defense and a coat pattern that warns predators to stay away. Nice work! The spotted skunk does a handstand when it uses its stinky spray defense. We need a head that has a good nose for sniffing out worms, insects, and berries. That's right! A skunk is an omnivore. That means she's sniffing out both plants and animals to eat. We need a tail with a gland underneath that can shoot a stinky defense. That's right! The skunk can shoot its spray up to 10 feet. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! To the creature rescue! The spotted skunk does a handstand when it uses its stinky Spray defense. I can't wait to try out these creature powers. A skunk is an omnivore. That means she's sniffing out both plants and animals to eat. The skunk doesn't need to run fast because it has a great defense. The skunk can shoot its spray up to 10 feet. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need legs that help steer in the water and dig nests in the sand. Nice work! The sea turtle has strong rear flippers that dig nesting holes on the beach. We need flipper arms for moving in the water. That's right! The sea turtle flaps its flippers like a bird to fly through the water. We need a scaly head with a beak. Nice work! The loggerhead sea turtle beak is similar to a bird's beak, but he uses it to eat mainly shellfish. Let's take a look at this creature power suit in its natural habitat. Hit the go button! To the creature rescue! These creature powers are awesome! The loggerhead sea turtle beak is similar to a bird's beak, but he uses it to eat mainly shellfish. The sea turtle flaps its flippers like a bird to fly through the water. The sea turtle has strong rear flippers that dig nesting holes on the beach. Great job! Let's make a new power suit. We need short, thick legs with hairy feet and sharp toenails. That's right! The grizzly bears are big and heavy, but they can still run really fast. Their hind legs help them run almost as fast as a horse. We need a long, feathery wingspan so we can take to the skies. the one I was looking for. Try again! We need a long, feathery wingspan so we can take to the skies. Sorry, not that one. Try again! We need a long, feathery wingspan so we can take to the skies. Oops! Try again! We need a long, feathery wingspan so we can take to the skies. Again, we need a long, feathery wingspan so we can take to the skies. That's right! With a 7-foot wingspan, bald eagles can reach speeds up to 100 miles per hour when diving for prey. 
We need a head that has a good nose for sniffing out worms, insects, and berries. Oops, sorry, that's five strikes. Try again. 